Hi everyone, welcome back to the Investor Emma Plays Dark Souls 3. Uh, we have places to be. Weather. Okay, uh, we've done everything there, so we will be going to Point of Sullivan's house and home and abode to fight it out here. Oh, uh, yeah, this way's right. I believe. Yep. Up this way, we have Lordaeron. Oh, and Orlando, sorry. Silly me. And some rather annoying fights as well. Uh, annoying fights that... Okay, those guys. Let's grab this item, grab the items, run back, go around the top. We're also embered. We actually have a very high chance of being attacked here by a um, phantom. Uh, go. Ow. <coughs> So I don't mind dying too much because at some point we'll just die to a phantom. We're not set up particularly, like, I'm not in a PvP mindset right now. Is probably the, the best way to, to put things. And that being the case... You know what, we don't want to fight these guys. I'm just going to sneak around back. Yes, 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 you're very angry. Okay, we've got a zigzag. Now what we want to do... Is grab aggro from one of those guys. Although, we honestly don't need to fight them. Oh, hey, here we go. This guy. The other one looks to have... If not forgotten about us, he's far enough away we might be able to kill this guy before he gets here. He's certainly not coming towards us any, at any appreciable speed. Dead. Ow. For fuck's sake. Just go away. I don't want you to be part of this fight. Oh, fine, you know what? Fine. Fine. I was happy to let you live. You could be all priestly and do whatever it is priests do when they're alone in an abandoned city. With no little boys to call their own. But no, you had to piss me off. Fuck off. Holy crap, these guys. We did just get invaded. But he left. Please piss off. Okay. Now we just need to kill this dude with two spears. And we'll never have to do, deal with those guys again. Also, I'd probably... Where is... Where is Two Spears guy? Where'd he go? He's over there. Uh, we will kill this giant first. Did we just get hit by fire from a... Fuck, we missed one? So all I can say to that is a long drawn out sigh. 
it's fine. Um, we can proc the spear guy, get him to go back up to the top. And we also aren't at risk of invasion anymore, which is basically a good thing. Uh, we should grab that though. We'll grab that first. Yes, whatever. Let's fuck off. I already killed a bunch of you in a boss fight. I don't need to fight any more of you. They're just aggravating. They're not even that dangerous. Far more danger from this guy. Just... Like they're designed to shit you up the fucking wall without actually posing enough danger that you want to go over and deal with the cunts. Okay. Let's fucking do this. We've got to pick up our souls, so I'll have to go and do that in a sec. I think there was enough that we should be worried about it. Goddamn spear users. Just die. Jerk. There, we run down, we grab our souls. And we get the hell out of here. And only come back very, very briefly to open a shortcut. little chip damage that is very difficult to dodge because of the like the angle it's coming from you can't see them five bloody flask waste wasted for that Whew. what angle mm, okay oh god this area oh, you know what okay down there is two crocodiles and Aldrich faithful and some items that I don't give a damn about. Uh, sorry, the, the Covenant of the Aldrich Faithful. If you want to join it, go down there. Elsewise, ignore the hell out of it. It doesn't matter. Because we are in Anor goddamn Londo. Which means... It's... Archer night time. Ow, 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 ow. Uh, just what this game needed. An archery section. Okay, okay, okay. See you in hell, buddy. You're going off the edge. Or not. Told you. Actually, I think that's the first time those guys have managed to kill me, so... Anolon is not that bad. I just... I'm frustrated from that earlier bit, and that's spilling over into this bit, uh, unfortunately. I don't think we'll take the time to put Great Weapon on. Um, I probably should, but I just want to get through the, that little bit. Um, I... I'm glad that this area is short. Like, if they're going to do, like, a callback, it should be short, because... It's really blatant fan service that this is here. <laughs> like, it's also a little bit weird that it's here. In a way that... 
I don't know, there's something funny going on in this game. Especially with an area we go into at the end. Uh, I'll, we'll go there. And I'll talk about it then. But, I almost feel like... A simulation is the wrong word because that brings to mind a computer sort of simulation. But I think it feels like maybe within the world of Dark Souls, we are currently within a constructed zone. Like things are weird here because it's been constructed by a certain a certain uh, scholar, sage type. You know what, we're not going to fight you. You've, you've lost your chance. I was going to fight all these enemies. Can't be bothered. I feel like Sideshow Bob in that episode where he keeps running into rakes. Now, is there a reason we came down here? There's not at all. There's not a single fucking reason. <laughs> oh wait, large Titanite Shard. Well worth... Well worth the upgrade item that I'm past using. Chunks, give me chunks. Hi, bye. Uh, YOLO. Hey, Easterner's Ashes. Cool. I do like to fight these guys usually, but I'm getting a little impatient with their bullshit because of the last area. Um, which probably isn't good, I should probably stop for the night. But, uh, don't worry, I want to keep playing. I think I can, if not finish it tonight, finish it tomorrow. Yep. And we're done with them, thank god. So this way is an illusionary wall. This leads down into an area that is of far more value to you if you've been following the Yuria path. I, however, have not. So I'm just here for this and we're going to leave. There's nothing else down there. There's just an altar uh, on, which, on which a certain person can be sacrificed, but uh, not in this playthrough. The first time I played through I did things that way. Okay, first things first... We're gonna pop over and grab another Covenant. Uh, one that we're not going to use, I'm afraid. But one that we should pick up nonetheless. Okay, now the question here is, do I go over when the... I think we go over now. I think, yeah, we go over now. Invisible fucking bridge. And a snack lady. Name thyself. Stranger, I am Yorshka, captain of the Dark Moon Knights. What beckon thee to such a place? We got this from uh, Syria. Thou thinks too. Very well. Captain to this knightless company I remain. I will grant thee purpose. Thus journeyed far, hear my voice. If thou shalt swear by the covenant to become a shadow of Father Gwyn and Sister Guinevere, a blade that shall hunt the foes of our lords, then I place thee under the aegis and the power of the dark moon. Art now a blade of the dark moon, the only knight of our company. Swear this oath and face thy solemn duty. Oh, good blade of the dark moon, welcome home. If I can provide thee succor, only tell me how. Long ago, our father Gwyn. Lamenting the waning of the fire, became cinder of his own will. 
Now, the fire is linked by the champions who have come in his stead. Such is the will of Father and the gods. And so the Dark Moon Knights took arms to watch over those who link the fire. But long ago, our company lost its last proper knight. Only its covenant was preserved to this day, until the time of thy visit. Erden taketh many forms, indeed. All right, well, so soon, may the Dark Moon watch over thee. I'll throw that on. Uh, we might get summoned to it. In my experience, you don't get summoned for it, but hey, maybe this time we will. Uh, did we prop this? We did. Unfortunately, there's no way back over this way, so I'm going to have to run through those damn knights again. This is not what I wanted to do. Paint a guardian sword. Actually, while we're here, sorry, I should look at this. A silver pendant depicting the Dark Moon and a sword, the crest of the Dark Moon Knights, the original Blue Sentinels. Equipped to pledge oneself to the Blade of the Dark Moon Covenant. When a member of the Way of the Blue faces a dark spirit, the Blades of the Dark Moon, by an ancient accord, help to root out the invader. Summoning takes place automatically when equipped. And we got a bunch of the painted guardian stuff. Obviously, um,. The captain of the guard up there had a tail much like Priscilla does, does which is interesting. Uh, is she too an experiment? Who knows? Or is she just an echo? Sometimes I feel like this entire game is an echo. No hiding place ahead, what? If you hadn't put the fucking sign there I would have never thought to check. And this comes out back down here. Uh, we are going to do a quick stop off at Firelink Shrine. Um, to get a level up. Uh, we'll be spamming decks until level 40, at least, now. Because we've got enough uh, endurance. And we don't need anything else. Um... Yeah, back here. I probably should have. I probably should have um, unlocked the next bonfire before going across, but I didn't think to, and now I'm suffering for it. Okay, the last time we should have to make this run. In fact, like the bonfire is right up the stair, like. Real damn close to where I was. There are some items that I missed anyway. Uh, I should probably... No, uh, yeah, I'll grab them. Probably going to have to make this run again, actually, thinking about it. If the Dark Moon Blade is going to proc, it's going to proc in this area because of how many um, invasions are going on constantly. But I don't, I don't think it, I don't know. There's something fucky with it where it just doesn't, it doesn't happen ever, barely. Okay. This way, because I think there's an item down here. Although ostensibly this is a shortcut, that's like not at all any shorter than the uh, long way around. Oh, ah, that's annoying. Oh, that's real. That's annoying enough that I'm not going to go back around that way. I don't care. I don't care what it is. There's a shortcut there, we don't need the shortcut, because this way is just as short. And we got that item, which turned out to be an item I don't really care about anyway. Although I can upgrade my Pyromancy Flame with it. Um, if nothing else. Again, not that I'm using Pyromancy Flame very much, but 
I like the idea of having the ability to, even if I'm not following through on using it. Okay. Can I see any items down that way? I don't think there might not be any other items down there. Again, if it's critical in terms of like if it's a if it's a um, braille book or if it's a pyromancy or if it's a sorcery thing, although sorcery doesn't matter very much owing to the whole our sorcerer is dead thing. Um, I will probably go back and get it at least if I need it to finish off a quest. Uh, before the end of the game. Just before the end of the game. So this is a decent farming spot, but there's a much better farming spot coming up not too long ahead. Uh, so if you can bear the course. And a Londo. If you can bear the course here, it's it's worth just keeping on going. Again, I, I cannot be... Cannot we cannot be doing with fighting these enemies in particular. Um, so let us instead come here. Henry of Astora calls, and we get a little. With this boss, we've <laughs> we've got a. You've got to fight this boss twice. Uh, this time we don't have as many bloody... What are you doing? Nothing that I need to worry about. Uh, don't have as many Estus flasks, but we do have a friend. Who we can get to, um... She's still in the first phase, so the best thing to do for archery is to go around like that. You may recognise this, uh, little arena. Ow. Hate that. Love that she's attacking when... She's attacking Henry, or he's attacking Henry, I suppose. I think the Eldrick is male. Okay, now... God, we wasted too much freaking health. I don't think we're going to win. I think we're going to lose. Okay. Uh, not much you can do against this attack other than run for your life. And hope you don't get sideswiped by another attack. Uh, Henry, take aggro up a little bit. Yeah, take aggro on this. Oh, she's attacking me! Bitch, bitch, bitch! I'm gonna die! I hate that attack. Definitely gonna die. I've got no HP left. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, what's annoying is we have to fight this boss again, again, after we defeat... Although here it's not so bad because there's no, there's no run-up. We can just keep doing this over and over. Uh, I might end up... You know what, I'm going to skip this fight uh, and we'll... Because we'll, we'll see, you'll see the fight proper when I'm fighting it, like in my world. I'll, I'll pause for a second now, once I am in a position to do so, and I'll see you... I'll see you in a minute. Oh yeah. And I got it. Uh, next time, actually. So, that Lord of Cinder... Unfortunately, we just slayed the Aldrich in her world, we've still got the one in our world to contend with. Um, that time, I didn't get... Oh Christ, we're embered again. This is not necessarily... Never mind. 
<laughs> oh. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to run through. I don't care to fight these enemies right now. They are somewhot fun to fight. One-on-one. Um, -on -one. I just want to get this area done with. Uh, because I am going to go and have some breakfast. After. The summon sign is still there and it keeps changing colours. Just bugger off. Bugger off. You two. Uh, nothing of value down there. I think it's just an ember. Nothing of value this way, actually. Because that door is locked as fuck. Came the wrong way. Chase continues. Unfortunately, the giant has long turned silent. Uh, he is a blacksmith from Dark Souls 1. It's a little sad that he's dead. But, you know, it's good that he's dead. Like, it, if they had have had him alive as well, and it's like, oh, Andre's alive, oh, the giant's alive, like, fuck off. The fact that, they, like, a bunch of them have died, and the fact that Anor Londo is... Anor Londo is so, um... Anor Londo is so decrepit now. Like, it, it's really cool to run through these halls in this state. Although, fuck these sorcerers. Again, just not quite, not quite dangerous enough to actually worry about. Oh, yeah. We'll open this shortcut, which is not obvious. I got a lot of rates here by saying lever ahead. Uh, because if you've not played Dark Souls, if you played Dark Souls 1, of course you know this lever's here. If you haven't, it's sort of dark and not obvious. Uh, I do want to deal with this guy. Please, 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 please! Okay. And we get Eldritch's Ruby. Eldritch's Ruby. Which... A Malform ring lived by... Eldritch, famous for appetite for flesh, apparently had the desire to share with others his joy of imbibing the final shudders of life while luxuriating in the victim's screams. Lovely ring. Gives us health back when we kill dudes. Don't really need it. Uh, 18,000. Is that enough to get a level up? Status 20,000. Do we. Yeah, I think we've got. Should give us 2,000. 5,000. Okay, that's more than enough. Okay, we'll pop off back home, pick up some extra decks, then fight the boss in the next video. Actually, gentlemen, I'll see you on the other side. I'll see you on the other side.